My name is Robert with Web Develop Ninja, and today I'm going to show you how to hook up Stripe to your WordPress WooCommerce store. So here we are at a WordPress WooCommerce store, and right now we're going to go and go to Add Cart, and we're going to go and take a look at the payment processing part. So we're going to proceed to checkout, and you can see that we've got up oh, Stripe's not enabled right now. We've just got PayPal. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to to WordPress dashboard. And the first thing we want to do is install the right plugin to so that WordPress can use Stripe. So I've already got that installed, but you need to go and download and activate Stripe WooCommerce add-on. I will leave a link to this plugin in the description. But anyways, just go to the description link, download it, upload it, or look for it in the uh, plugin store. So now what you want to do is we want to go to WooCommerce and settings. Now this plugin um, gives you a another payment option in your checkouts tab. So we're going to come general checkouts and we've got check cash on delivery and we now have Stripe card settings. So it's pretty easy to get Stripe to um, talk to your WordPress store. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you are na have enabled Stripe and then what we need to do is we need to get four keys so in order to do get the, to get those keys go to your stripe dashboard so this is our stripe dashboard and a couple things just to quickly take a note of is up in the upper left corner this switch thing it's set to test mode but you can go live uh, it's not activated but so you can go test but we're in test mode right now anyways um, and then what we need to do is we need to get something called API keys and API keys is are, are there ways that WordPress knows which account to go, to use when they send money. So to do that, you come your account, account settings, and API keys. And now you've got these are your test test secret key, test public key, and live secret, live publish. A couple things to take note of is these these keys are, are need to be kept very secret. So um, once this video is done, I'm going to go ahead and roll key, which means if you if these keys get get out, they can actually take money from your account. So if you do something like make a web video and show the whole world your keys after the video, you, you would want to roll your keys. But anyway, just to get things to work, we're going to copy the test secret key. And we're going to go ahead and put that in here. Make sure we don't have any extra spaces. Then we've got test publish. Then we've got live secret. And live publish. And then make sure you copy these very accurately. Um, <clears throat> I've run into tr trouble a couple times where, like if you see right here on the end, there's an extra space because of, of the copy. You got to make sure you delete that. That extra space will cause it to fail. Um, so then we've got our currency, US dollar, Stripe sandbox. We are going to leave this checked because we are in test mode. Uh, authorize only. We don't need to worry about that. Here's the cards that you can accept. You can you can just delete cards or you can add cards. And we're going to go ahead and hit save changes. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're going to <clears throat> test to make sure that our accounts are hooked up. So let's go ahead and refresh our checkout. And now we can see we've got Stripe here. And what we want to do is we want to test this account. So we want to come to Google and we're just going to test or type in test Stripe cards. And usually it's the first one. And we're just looking for these are test numbers. So when you use these credit card numbers, um, you'll have test money in your Stripe account and you can make sure that your account is working. So put in the test number and then expires we'll say 2 of 19 and card code 555. Go ahead and place order. And let this load. Perfect. All right, now we have order received and let's come back to our Stripe account and right now you can see we have uh test we have $0 and we just checked out and now we should have there's $105. So our Stripe account and our WooCommerce store are hooked up 
um, real quick, just to, just as a review. So on your Stripe account, real easy. Come to your account, account settings. Uh, you have to authenticate. Put your username and password in there. API keys, and here are your keys. And important last note: if you let these keys get out, like you make this video, make sure you roll your keys so you don't get your account hacked. Just quick tip. Um, thank you for watching this video, and if you want to learn more about WordPress, e-commerce, anything web design, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.